Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, this is going to be a very short but a very informative video about NMIMS in Mumbai. From the past one week, I have been receiving a lot of doubts from all you people about Bhaiya, we have heard that NMIMS has been banned. Should we apply to NMIMS? Or what is it going to happen? What's the reality behind it? Is the ban for all the courses? In fact, so many current students who are currently studying at NMIMS have also reached out saying that what is it going to happen? How is it going to impact us? All of that. So guys, just make sure that you watch this video till the very end. I'll clear each and every doubt that you have gotten regarding NMIMS and the ban uh, and all the news that has been floating around in the market about NMIMS. So yes, guys, the reality is that NMIMS has been barred by the UGC, which stands for University Grants Commission. They are like the Supreme Court when it comes to colleges and each and every college and the university in the country has to abide by the rules and regulations and the norms set by UGC. They are like the BAP of all. And in case if you take Panga by them, then you're going to face repercussions of it. Uh, and that is exactly what has happened with NMIMS. And they have been barred and in fact suspended for offering a couple of their courses for one year or probably even more. But that does not affect each and every course. So guys, please make sure that you watch this. In fact, I have with me the official document of the suspension letter given to NMIMS and I will read that out to you people so that there is no confusion remaining whatsoever. Debarring Nasi Munji Institute of Management Studies, NMIMS Maharashtra from offering open and distance learning and online programs for January, February 2023, July, August 2023 and January, February 2024 academic sessions. It is for the information of the general public and all concerned stakeholders that in the exercise of its power given under the UGC Act 1956, UGC has notified University Grants Commission open and distance learning programs and online regulations 2020 in the Gazette of India on 4th September 2020. Subsequently, in the first and the second amendments in the principal regulation have been notified on the 1st of July 2021 and 18th of July 2022 respectively in the Gazette of India. NMIMS Maharashtra has not adhered to the above regulations as it is in gross violations with regard to the functioning of Center for Internal Quality Assurance CIQA and quality of self-learning material slash e-learning material and nomenclature of Center for Distance and Online Learning not following the fee refund policy promulgated by UGC and numerous continuous complaints being received against the HEI from the various stakeholders in offering ODL and online programs. The Commission has taken the very serious view on the above violations and decided in its 566 meeting held on 23rd February 2023 to debar ban slash withhold the HEI from offering ODL and online program for January 2023, July and August 2023 and January and February 2024 academic sessions as entitled uh, HEI in the category above. It may be noted that HEI may be allowed to run and offer uh, ODL and online programs for the academic season beginning from July, August 2024 only pursuant to the inspection on-site visit by UGC after obtaining necessary approvals from UGC. Therefore, the general public is advised not to take admission in any course or program of Nasi Mirji Institute of Management Studies Maharashtra through open and online distance learning programs for the, these academic sessions. So guys, basically what it really means is that not all the courses of UGC are barred. But yes, the online programs of NMIMS were very, very famous. In fact, they are ranked top number one, top number two in the country, specifically the MBA related programs. And in case if you were planning to apply or you've already applied or in fact, you've gotten your admission, I would suggest you to not go because in case even if you get a degree, uh, if university manages to give that, it will not be valid. But it is only and only applicable for the online programs or the distance learning program. In fact, NMIMS itself issued a statement which says that not applicable to our offline programs. So for all you people who are asking me whether they're BBA or BSc Finance or BBA in Branding and Advertising or their Law and whatever other courses, will it be applicable on that? No guys, they will run as usually as it planned. But only and only for the online or distance learning, this ban or this suspension has been made for in fact one, one and a half year. Uh, it will again resume uh, in the mid of 2024 but in case of if but for all you people who are watching and were planning to take admission in 2023 take my honest suggestion do not even apply but for all you people who are looking in for the normal NPAT exams and all those things for their undergrad program uh, even for their masters which is offline so even their MBA which is going to happen offline on the campus you do not you need not worry about it. Uh, your degrees will be very valid and applicable. You will get jobs uh, as promised and all those things. 
so you don't need to worry anything about that and guys all of the information that i'm providing to you is 100% authentic there is no fake news that is involved here in fact i will be putting down the link in the description below of each and everything the official order passed by ugc and the other news portals like india express and the print i will be putting down the link in the description below for the same so you guys could read it out again for yourself uh, and in case if you applied i would really suggest you to not join for the online or the digital learning programs because it will be a waste of your money and your time so yes guys that's about it for this particular video thank you so much for watching this video till the very end i hope all your doubts and questions and queries regarding nmims and their ban is now clear uh, it's very sad to hear that a big university like this has to go through a process like that but like i said if you take pangas with ugc uh, you're up all for a toss so thank you so much guys for watching this video till the very end if you found this video useful make sure that you give me a thumbs up Comment below if you have any doubts, questions, queries, and at the same time, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you super soon with another video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.